Hello, brother teacher. Most of you are probably already aware of and have seen my video that was done a couple years ago about Bruce Lee not being respected by Chuck Norris. I don't doubt and deny the probability and or fact that Chuck Norris befriended Bruce Lee or they one another back in the early days. I'm not disputing that. Chuck Norris makes it appear or seem as though he and Bruce Lee were even very, very close friends. I was not the fly on the wall and I really don't know, but I can say just by virtue of his actions after Bruce Lee has been gone all of these many years, that he really never ever respected Bruce Lee because Bruce Lee was way beyond him in skill. I believe that Chuck Norris was even jealous on some level. Especially after he got a bit of notoriety after doing the film Return of the Dragon with Bruce Lee. There are many uh, that love Chuck Norris. I love Chuck Norris. And I love Bruce Lee as well. But I'm a commentator. I'm going to say what I believe and what I'm convicted of just simply from that standpoint and I'm not going to withhold anything whoever's watching this video right now you are entitled to your viewpoint and or your opinions and I my own so with that said I want you to know right now that this is not a personal indictment against Chuck Norris it's not I've never berated uh, or tried to defame any human being period but I have actually told the truth because I believe that it's necessary. Now as it relates to Bruce Lee, I want to say this and not sound like I'm uh, beating a dead horse. Chuck Norris was an opportunist. He was someone that Bruce Lee chose. I don't care uh, if it was supposed to be someone else that played the role in Return of the Dragon and he chose Chuck Norris or not. It doesn't matter. The point of the matter is he did choose Chuck Norris and Chuck Norris did play that individual in the Coliseum with Bruce Lee. That's record. We all know this. But every conversation that Chuck Norris ever had publicly that was on television when he was interviewed about his success and then ask about his relationship with Bruce Lee and then training with Bruce Lee and if Bruce Lee was as good as they say he was or if Bruce Lee and him got into a sparring match and who was the winner Chuck Norris would always divert to the fact that he was the karate champion during that time every single conversation without fail he never mentioned how lethal and how skilled Bruce Lee really was during those interviews. I'm not talking about what, what he may have said in these more recent years. I'm talking about then. So, when he was asked, uh, did him and Bruce Lee ever mix it up? And he said, Bruce didn't want to go there, and I didn't want to go there. I'm asking this question, go where? Nowhere on God's green earth during the time that Bruce Lee lived could Chuck Norris have ever ever stood a chance against Bruce Lee in an actual fight it wouldn't happen couldn't happen Chuck Norris did not have the discipline and training like Bruce Lee did two totally different individuals now some might say well this is hearsay brother teacher well this is just your opinion no it's not anyone who really knows the dedication that Bruce Lee placed in training over 2,000 books on fighting uh, he even made books and videos during that time on fighting he said martial arts to him was expressing himself he did it on film so we know just with those things that I just mentioned that he was dedicated to expressing what fighting according to him on film what martial artist during those times did that nobody not just simply an actor. Bruce Lee couldn't be just simply an actor because actors don't study pugilism or fighting on that level that Bruce Lee did and they were just simply an actor. 
It's impossible to be just simply an actor. That's like saying Keanu Reeves in The Matrix is on the level of Bruce Lee. Or that he's an actual martial artist because he's not. He was taught to do that stuff that he did in The Matrix. He is not an avid martial artist like the Gracie brothers or the family, if you will, or like Chuck Norris or like uh, even Steven Seagal, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Benny Urquides, uh Joe Hess, all of these people, uh, Michael Jai White even. He's not even on that level. So, I said all of that, that to say this. Trying to dispel a myth that Chuck Norris believes that he's equal or was equal to Bruce Lee. Never ever. Not in this world. And there are many people that know this to be true. Even the late Jim Kelly, God rest his soul. He made some general statements saying that uh, there were people that he knew of that Bruce Lee bested. He said, but out of his respect to those individuals, he wouldn't mention their names, but they knew who they were. Chuck Norris was one of them. And you know, Bruce Lee's senior Wing Chun uh, partner, if you will, or student, who studied under Yip Man as well, Grandmaster William Chun, even he said that he knew firsthand that Bruce Lee had beat Chuck Norris. But Chuck Norris would never talk about it. He would never admit it. And then shortly thereafter, Chuck Norris became a student of Bruce Lee's. Go figure. William Chun said this. Someone very intimately close to Bruce Lee knew this information. And there were a few others who were privy to this as well. But they just never publicized it. Chuck Norris knows that he would have never stood a chance against Bruce Lee. Because the nature of Bruce Lee versus his nature. Chuck Norris was a point karate champion. And I say again emphatically. A point karate champion. Uh, a champion that had referees. You had rules and regulations. You had someone that stopped the fight so to speak. You had a time limit to fight. You couldn't do certain things. That's why Bruce Lee never engaged in sport events. Because he studied the art of pugilism. Real fighting. He had equipment specifically made for him to better himself, to enhance his speed, his reflexes, his timing, his power because of his small frame. Nobody does that who is just simply an actor. So, I'm going to leave a link uh, in the description below, comment section if you will, uh, where William Chun said, you're going to have to watch the whole video, it's entertaining, uh, where he said that Chuck Norris did lose to Bruce Lee in a sparring match or in a training match. He knows this to be true. I'm not saying that he's the only authority on the subject. But I don't believe he's lying. What does he stand to gain? He already has popularity and notoriety. William Chung, that is. And I respect him highly as well. Now, are you going to say that William Chung is not a, a master? Or that he doesn't know martial arts? Go figure.